Northeast High School, Mr. Smith, Computer Applications, week of October 21st, 2013. Topic, Microsoft Word 2013. Today we're going to talk about how to format a document in MLA format. The two learning targets, the student will be able to format a document in MLA, MLA format using Microsoft Word. And the student will be able to use the review functions to view and disable comments. Here are the characteristics of an MLA report. MLA reports have one inch margins on all four sides. The basic font is Times New Roman in size 12. The top right header contains the author's last name and the page number. The top header is also half inch from the top of the page. So not only is it a half inch from the top, but it also has the author's last name and page number. The line spacing is double, with zero points before and zero points after. And the first line of each paragraph is indented half of an inch. The title is centered. Your works cited page. The title of the works cited page is also centered. Each works citation has a hanging indent and the source of each work that is cited is italicized. And all these are characteristics of, of an MLA report and these will become more evident in the next part as we walk through formatting in MLA. Now let's do a quick review. To change the margin you click on the page layout tab and then you click on the margin drop down menu in the page setup group. That's how you change your margins to one inch on all four sides. To select the entire document, you click on the Home tab and choose Select All from the Editing group. To insert the MLA header, or the header in MLA format, click on the Insert tab, uh, choose Page Number from the Header and Footer group, and choose Top of Page, and then you choose Plane Number 3. And of course, it will insert the page number, and then you type your last name in there. To change the line spacing or apply a hanging indent, click on the Home tab and choose the Paragraph Settings box from the Paragraph menu. To create a page break, starting content on a new page, click on the Page Layout group and the Breaks drop-down box from the Page Setup group and choose Page. And finally, to view comments, click on the Review tab and choose Show Markup from the Display for Review menu in the Tracking group. First of all, before we begin um, changing this document to MLA format, let's do a basic word review. These are your tabs, File, uh, Home, Insert, Design, Page Layout, References and under each tab you have groups that's the clipboard group all that's the clipboard group the font group the paragraph group the styles group and the editing group and if you go to the insert tab you have the pages group the tables group over here you have the text group so you will see that you have uh, tabs and within each tab you have groups these are called drop down boxes when you click on the box, it drops down and you can make a choice. That's why they are called drop down boxes. These items that you just click on are called buttons. For example, if I wanted to make something bold, I would just click on that button. If I wanted to change the font, I would go to the drop down box. And up here, once again, is the quick access toolbar. And this is the undo button. So I'm going to undo what we just did go down to the bottom you will actually see uh, your work your uh, status bar which shows you how many pages your document is how many words it is and over here this is where you can change the view to make it larger or smaller now let's start with MLA format the first thing with MLA format is that the margins should be one inch that's very simple you click on the page layout tab click on the margins drop down 
menu and you just choose normal that's one inches all the way around and immediately our margins are now one inch this is how they look before this is one inch the second thing is to change your line spacing and font click on the home tab now to select everything in this document on all two pages the easiest method is to go to the editing group click on the select drop-down box and choose select all once you have selected all click on this box the font drop-down box and choose Times New Roman and then in the font size drop-down box choose size 12 now to change the font I mean the line spacing you go to the paragraph group and click on this box which is the paragraph settings box and you change your before to zero your after to zero and your line spacing to double and the entire document now is there you go line spacing is double now we need to add our page number and header go to the insert tab click on the page number drop down box choose top of page and then choose plane number three now you see the page number the next thing you will do is type your last name next to the page number to the left of it and then press the space bar one time and you will note it's it's uh, you chose uh, top of page plane number three that is the one that puts it to the right of the page if it's in the center it's not correct if it's on the left it's not correct if it's missing your last name it's not correct if there's no space between your last name and the page number it's not correct once you're done with that you click close hitter and footer and as you scroll down you will see that it automatically adds the page numbers to the other pages there you go so now that we have the page number let's center the title for our document that's simple click on the title found voices by Carl Sagan and in the paragraph group click on the center alignment button that is now centered now let's go down while we're centering and center works cited also because this should be centered click on it and you will center it also now we need to indent the first paragraph I mean we need to indent the first line of every paragraph for every paragraph you click on it press tab one time go down to public appearances tab one time keep going this is indent this one tab one time tab one time and if you're not sure if it's a paragraph or not just click on your show hide and wherever you see this symbol right here that looks like a backward P that's the end of a paragraph so you know this is a new paragraph and you should indent it right there end of paragraph click on front of the new one press tab there you go and to turn show hide off you click on it to turn it off now we need our works cited page on a different page click in front of works cited and then click on the page layout tab click in the page setup group click on the page the breaks drop down box and choose page that inserts what is called a page break it causes this content to start on a new page now select everything below works cited and we need to add apply what is called the hanging indent so you will select it open your paragraph uh, settings box in the indentation group where it says special click on the arrow down and simply choose hanging that's a hanging indent and what a hanging indent does is indents everything except the first line like this works cited here first line is not indented but the second line is first line not indented but the second and third lines are in MLA format you must italicize the name of the source so we select Newsweek 
and from this box the quick formatting box click I to italicize it New York Times for the second one you can also go to the home tab and click inside the font group to italicize uh, YouTube this source was YouTube italicize this information this site work cited is from a telephone interview italicize highlight personal interview italicize the Oxford Companion of Music italicize academic search here should be italicized a skeptical inquire should be italicized and the academic search premiere again should be italicized and we get that whole thing now that's italicized so now this document is an MLA format okay we have the right line spacing we have the right margins the work cited is on a separate page a hanging indent has been applied and a regular first line indent has been applied to everything else however we're going to do something more if you click on the review tab look in the tracking group and you'll see a drop down box where it says original where it says display and that's the display for review box if you click on original and choose all markup you will see comments that have been added these are these are modifications that you need to make to this document before you save it the notes are here on the side it's very easy for example this this uh, note says change the word found to innovative so what does that mean you just simply highlight the word found and type the word innovative just like this and then on the next one it says change the burrows tales to stories uh, from the burrows so click in front of it and type in stories and then get rid of the word tail so that it's correct on the end there you go so that's how you do it go all the way down and everywhere you see one of these uh, markups go ahead and make whatever change it says now if you delete the word completely the markup will go away so make sure you remember what it is before you start typing it in go all the way down there's even a markup I believe in the work cited Jerry becomes Hank and 1997 becomes 1996 and Premier becomes journal once you've made all those markups simply click in the tracking group on the display for a review box and click original and they're gone that allows you to make the changes that someone has advised to a document however those changes will not print if you go file to a print you will see that uh, the markup does not print it simply is only viewable when you click on the review tab and choose all markup so once you have done all those things formatted in MLA format looked at your markup made all the recommended changes what you'll simply need to do is click on the diskette and simply save the document back to your uh, hard drive